Hey guys, I just wanted to start out by showing you the variation that you can do with this star. You can have obviously different types of yarn and it will look totally different. This is a worsted weight, 100% cotton, and this one is a velvet yarn that is like 3.5 to 4 millimeter thickness. Both of them, I used a four millimeter hook and they just look really cute depending on what you decide to do. And here is another uh, fun thing that I did since if you live in the United States, we are celebrating 4th of July soon and I thought it would be fun to do a star. I was going to do the whole flag, but then I was like, no, I really just wanna make a star and then I wanna see where I go from there and this is, what has evolved. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to create this uh, base that's the star, put the border around it, and then you can play with the colors. To start out, we are gonna be doing a magic circle. So if you don't have a lot of practice doing these, this is your time to shine. I'm just gonna put that in. And we are placing five single crochet into that circle. So there's two, three, four, and five. Once you get those five, we're gonna pull it. And I like to connect mine back before I pull it too tight, just in case I have trouble finding it. All right, once you got that pulled tight, we are gonna continue working in the round. So we're not turning, we're gonna pick up a loop and we're going to do a half double crochet into the first stitch that you see. So there we go. And I'm going to add a pico on top of it. So that's one, two, three chains. You're gonna pick up all those that were part of the half double crochet pull through all the way and we are going to do a slip stitch to secure that so there we go and then we're just going to do that all the way around again we're going to slip stitch and pick up a loop we're going to do a half double crochet so there's the half double we're gonna chain one, two, three for the pico. And all a pico is, is it puts a little spiky thing on top of whatever you're crocheting. So we got those inserted into the half double and we're doing a slip stitch through it. And then I'm gonna slip stitch it to the base. Again, we are doing a slip stitch. We're picking up a loop, inserting it for the half double, chaining one, two, three for the pico, inserting it through the half double crochet. Doing the slip through, and then doing a slip stitch to secure it to the base. So that's three, we've got two more. Once you get that, you have a couple of options. You could pull it through and there your star is if you wanted to stop here. Or if you wanted to, you could add in another color and do a border like this one. And that that is the basis for the pattern. So say you wanted to do flowers I just wanted to show you how easy it would be to do these. Instead of doing five single crochet into that magic circle, you would do additional single crochet. So this one has one, two, three, four, five, six petals. And that's because I did six single crochet into the magic circle. And then I just added another half double and pico leaf onto one of these six singles. So again, this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
That is seven single crochet in the magic circle. And that just gives me another space for a petal. And same with this one, this has eight single crochet in the center and it has eight petals on the outside. So that's how you, if you wanted to change it up, you don't have to do just a star. You could do flowers, uh, just trade out those colors to be whatever petals you want. Or if you wanted to do these all in one solid color, they would look something like this. It really just looks so different depending on the colors that you do. Like these are the same with different colors. So now I'm gonna show you how to do the border piece to give you that little pop or to help you attach it to other things. If you aren't really sure where you wanna attach, this will give you a lot of wiggle room to attach while also still emphasizing that it is a star or if you were gonna do the flowers, it's the same principle for the flowers. All right, so if you wanna do the color change um, before you get to the next part, if you want that color up on top to be your new color, pull out that slip stitch. And when you go down to do the slip stitch, insert the new color. So pull the new color through to complete the slip stitch. And then you're gonna chain up one and two. And once you have two chained up, we're looking for the top of this pico. We're just gonna grab one piece of yarn and we're gonna do a slip stitch on top. And then we're gonna chain one, two. And we're gonna look for something on the bottom. You can go through the entire slip stitch that you created or you can pick up just a single piece of yarn, a single strand. I'm just picking up a strand. And then again, chain one, two. And we're looking for a piece on top. So right there. Again, chain one, two. And I'm just looking for a single strand. Chain one, two. And you just keep doing that all the way around. And then once you have it, you can cut it, pull it through, and the same for the yellow. So cut it. There is your star with the border. All it was is we're picking up slip stitches at the top and the bottom, and we are chaining two in between each of those slip stitches. And that creates this white border, but again, it can be so different. This is a white and blue star, and then I made this little guy. I connected them in a row. So if you wanted to connect them and you wanted to do the same continuous, what you would do is start out with the slip stitches through here. And then once you get to this one, you'll slip stitch and then you'll chain one with that blue color and connect it to the corner of the next star and continue with the slip stitch until you hit here. And then you'll chain one again at the end of that slip stitch, connect to the other slip stitch and weave it through. And then I did a color change for red right there and then I just repeated it back around until I got back to here. And this blue, I had actually gone all the way around and I had completed this before I moved on to the other blue. So if you are working with the same uh, border color, you can just work one star and then work all the way down the other stars to come back around, or you can start at the top and go all the way around this way. So it just depends on whatever your preference is. All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or comments, I'd be happy to check them out. And I hope that you'll stick around for the future because I do have some stuff coming that I'm really excited about. I cannot wait to show you. But until then, 
uh, heart heart and if you do end up making this star please tag me on Instagram or Facebook because I would be so thrilled to check it out I hope you have a great day and I can't wait to see you again